we need to put hands in the position to be successful. She just needs the opportunity to raise poults. We need a comprehensive wild turkey management course, and we need it to be online so that people can take it on their own time, at their own pace, wherever they are. We gotta do better, but how do we do better at scale? We know that increasing the Ford cover, increase use of the sites by poults, 3.7 times more likely with every 10% increase in Ford cover. The after second year adult hen survival is by far the most important vital rate, meaning that a small change in this vital rate affects the population trajectory the most. It does indicate to us that maybe there's this trend here where predator control alone doesn't do a lot, habitat by itself does a good bit, and that perhaps habitat management paired with predator management results in the greatest gain. Relocations may have facilitated the introduction of pathogens into wild turkeys. So you can get financial assistance, call share assistance to get help with thinning and prescribed fire, herbicide applications, all these things through the Partners Program. And it's a way to increase and enhance turkey habitat on the landscape. This is the best way that you could manage the property to maximize productivity. That practice generates all of the different things that turkeys need throughout their life cycle in the same place. Mowing frequently creates more weed problems than, than mowing less frequently. And by recognizing that some weeds are good and it's okay having some rough looking plots during the summertime, you can really promote a pretty good brooding cover in these, in these clover plots without really hurting yourself in terms of forage production for deer. So if you can incorporate these kinds of practices in, that's when you will really start to see increasing productivity of turkeys on your land.